Hello, hello, good morning. Okay, welcome to your EFL class. Hi, Adriana, good morning. Welcome to your class. Excellent, okay. Ricardo Gamero, welcome. Okay, good morning. Harrison, Marcos. Okay, Carlos Cornejo, good morning. Okay. Gerard, good morning. Welcome to your EFL class. Yes, this one is a review class. And remember, then you have your test. Okay, yes, Marcos, excellent. I check during the day, okay? Oh, that's good, Carlos Arias. <laughs> so you like drawing, yes? Okay, good job. <laughs> excellent. Okay, Diego Lopez, Mario, Daniela Borja, welcome. Okay, so let's see. Today you have your EFL review class. Yes, and remember from nine to 10, okay, this one is a supposed hour, you develop your test. Yes, but you have all the day for checking this part. Okay, so let's see, let me share my screen right now. And uh, let's see this part. Okay, let's wait some minutes, let's see. Okay, this one is okay. So EFL review class. These one are the topics that you study for the test. We have four topics. The first one is superlatives and comparatives. Then we have the verb have to. Okay, then we have uh, some vocabulary of the unit number two, for example, ancient Rome. Yes, and also uh, we have Morocco. Yeah, that this one is part of the unit number one. Okay. So let's see, excellent. Let's start with adjectives, yes? This class is practice. So you don't develop anything on your notebook or on your book because this one is only a review class. So you practice a lot, yes? Okay, so let's see. Adjectives, what is an adjective in that case? Okay, an adjective is a word that describe, yes? Okay, excellent. So you write present in the chat, yes. When you enter to the class, you write present. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's see. An adjective is a word that describes or modify, okay, or maybe add meaning to the different noun. Remember, we have nouns that are proper and also others that are common, okay, like in this case, in the case in the picture, yes, you have a blue bird. In that case, you talk about a common noun that is bird, and what is the adjective? Blue, okay. So if we analyze, Okay, adjectives in that case are colors. So colors, nationalities, numbers, all of this one are adjectives. And remember, an adjective is a word that describe or modify the meaning or add meaning to a noun, okay? So that's mean when you describe, you add extra information to the different nouns. Let's see, let's continue. And you know that we have two degrees of an adjectives. Okay, we have positive, we have comparative, and we have superlative. Yes, that in this case, we talk about comparative and superlative adjectives. Okay, when you use positive, that's mean the normal form of a pair of an, an adjective, I'm sorry. In comparative, you add the suffix er. Okay, in that case, let me show you what is the suffix. Okay, this one is the suffix er, yes. This one that is circled in green. And in superlative, we use the suffix est, yes? Okay, what is the difference between these two? For example, comparative, you compare two things. Okay, you compare to animals, to person, to people, okay? Let me see, to objects, etc. Okay, this one is comparative. And superlative, one of the people, Okay, one of a person, one of an animal, one of an object, okay, is more than other, okay, es más que el otro, el superlativo, yes, okay, this one is the difference. And we have adjectives with one syllable, okay, with one syllable ending with E, adjectives ending with one vowel in one consonant, yeah, and we have different rules here. For example, we have one syllable adjective, okay, in that case. Let me check, okay. Adriana Barahona, help me please. And read me the adjectives, but in this case, the comparative adjectives with one syllable. Okay. 
clear, dark, clearer, darker, clearest, darkest. Okay, thank you, Adriana. So let's see. We have clear, the comparative, clearer, yes? Dark, darker. That means we only add the suffix er. And in that form, we have the comparative, yes? Then we have the superlative, okay? We have the suffix est. So we say clear plus est, clearest. Dark plus est, darkest, yes? Okay, then we have the second examples. One syllable ending with e, yes? Okay, excellent. Let me check. Marcus, help me please. Okay, read the examples that we have here in the second uh, in the cases and second row, yes? One syllable ending with E. One syllable ending with E. Wise and wiser, wisest. Okay. okay. Simple, simpler, and simple. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. So you have this one, wise, wiser, wisest. Yes, so we only add, in that case, the R. Wise plus R, wiser. Yes, wise plus ST, wisest. Simple, simple plus R, simpler. Yes, and simple plus ST, simplest. Yes, and in that form or in that case, we use the comparative and the superlative. Yes, okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Now, next one. Okay, Carlos Cornejo. Next row, adjectives ending with one vowel and one consonant. Me escucho, me. Yes, I hear you. Okay. Thin, thinner, thinnest. Fat, fatter, fattest. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. So we have this one. Thin, thinner, yes, and thinnest. What is the particular case in that word? Okay, so we double that consonant, yes? When an adjective ends, okay, with a vowel and also with a consonant, we double the last consonant. In that case, it's N, okay, thin, thinner, thinnest. Fat, okay, we double the letter T, fatter, fattest, yes? Okay, this one is the particular case. Now, let's continue. Next part, we have two syllables ending in Y, okay? So this one is another rule that we need to apply when we form the comparatives and also the superlatives, yes? Okay, Daniela Marin, help me please read this row. Two syllables ended in Y. Okay, let me check if you can activate yourself. Two syllables ending in Y. Bossy, bossier, bossiest. Merry, merrier, merriest. Okay, thank you very much. So you have bossy, and in that case, we change, yes, the letter Y or the consonant Y by, okay, a vowel I in that case. Bossy, bossier, yes, or bossy S. And then we have the suffix ER or EST. Then we have a merry, okay, we change by I, merrier and merriest, yes? Okay, then we have three or more syllables in that case. Okay, Ariela, help me please. Okay. Let me check. Okay, check your sound because you are activate. Okay, but I don't hear you. Okay, let me check. Maybe, okay. Let's see, try right now, Ari. I activate one more time and you try it, yes? Okay. Okay, try to check the connection of your health phones. Yes, maybe it's that. Okay, and then I give you the participation. Yes, okay, excellent. 
So let's see. Next one. Uh, let's see. Mia Rivera, help me please. Three or more syllables. Okay. Three or more syllables. Hi, Miss. Hi. Creative, more creative, most creative, popular, more popular, most popular. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. So this one is a particular case. Why? Because when you have an adjective that is long, that in that case, because this one is a long word, that means has, okay, three or more syllables, we use more if, this, if the adjective is comparative. And we use most if the adjective is superlative. For example, more creative, yes, in that case, creative. Most creative, yes, is the difference, more in most. When you use comparative, you use that word, more. Yes, but remember this one with only long adjectives and we have must, okay? This one is superlative. For example, you say more popular, okay? Most popular, okay? Remember the first one is when you compare. For example, uh, let's see the, let me check. Okay, one example in that part. Let's see, uh, the green team, is more popular than the red team, okay? It's most popular, yes? But the yellow team is most popular than others, yes? Okay, that's mean we compare and also we have one group that, let's see, is superlative than others, okay? So yes, excellent. Okay, Anderson, tell me, do you have an example? Okay, give me the, your example, please. Good morning, Miss. Good morning, Anderson. Best, best, worst, worst, little, less, least, much, more, but. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. These one are irregular adjectives. Okay, so we have the common adjectives, but also similar to nouns and verbs. Okay, so we have irregular adjectives. Good. Okay, you say, ah, the day is good. Yeah. Okay, better and best. Okay, so one of this one is comparative and the other one is superlative. We have bad. Okay, worse and worst. Okay, little less and least, much, more, and must. Okay, all of this one, these four adjectives are irregulars. We have a lot, yeah, not only this one, but this one are the most common adjectives, irregular adjectives in that case. So we have good, better, best, bad, worse, worst, little, less, and least, much, more, and most, yes? Okay, so all of these one are adjectives, and you know, or you remember that we have comparatives and superlative. When we talk about comparative adverbs, okay, remember we compare two things, two people, two animals, etc. And we use the suffix er, yes, at the end of the adjective. But if the adjective is long, so you use the word more. Okay, then we have the superlative. You use the suffix est at the end of the adjective, okay. But if the adjective is alone, you use the word must, yes? Okay, excellent. So let's see. Now we have a cane, so we try to solve this one. Let me share my screen, okay? Let's see. Okay, wait, let me check if it is possible. Yes. Okay, so this part. We try to solve this exercise. This one is word to word, yeah? In that case, we practice, okay, comparatives and superlatives adjectives. Okay, so let's see. You give me, okay, the sentence or the order, the correct order of the sentence in that case. Yes? Okay, so let's see. Let me check. Okay, Diego Lopez, help me. What is the correct order of this sentence? Okay, in that case, because this one is with time, yes. Okay, so we say 
My phone is the most expensive thing. Yes, this one is the correct. So let's see. Uh, Adriana, help me please. Next one, okay? So you try to to the next sentence. Okay, let's see. What is the correct order in that case? A salad is unhealthier a pizza. Okay, so let's see. A salad is healthier than a pizza. Yes, this one is the correct order. Okay, healthy yet. Okay, the time is over. So let's see, Marcos, help me please. Okay, we we'll try to do very fast. Yes. Yes, miss. Okay. okay, try to order. Okay, wait. Next sentence, yes? Okay. Let's see. This one. Okay, give me the order of this sentence. Okay, I help you. The chimpanzee. The dog. The chimpanzee is more intelligent than the dolphin. Okay, it's more intelligent than the dolphin. Let's see. Yes, okay, so this one is correct. Okay, so let's see. Next one. Uh, Diego Lopez, help me please. Okay. Hi, Miss. Hi. Give me the order of the sentence. Okay. Okay. Next sentence because this one is end. The time is over. Yeah. Because we only have 30 seconds. Yes. Okay. Who is the tightest person in your family in that case? Yes. Okay. Let's try with the next sentence. Okay. Okay. This one. Where's the correct order? Okay, I am worse at science as possible than math. Let me check if it is this one. Okay, so let's see. What is that? He is faster than his brother. Yes, okay. Next one in that case. This one is a question. What is the most interesting book you have ever read? Okay, so let's see. This one is the correct order of the sentence. Let's see. Spain, it's possible, or Britain. Okay, Britain, no, it's not that. This one is Spain. Spain is sunnier than Britain. In that case, we compare two countries, yes? Okay, so let's see. Mount Everest is the tallest mountain in the world, yes? Okay, so let's see. We're trying again. Uh, let me check, okay? Her song, help me please, okay? You develop the next exercise. Okay, the next sentence. Activate your sound, please. Okay. Let's Yes, okay, give me the order of this one. Okay, help you, my phone. Okay. Right my, now? My phone mm -hmm. is... Okay. I hi. Okay, so the time is over because we only have 25 seconds, yes? Okay, my phone is the most expensive thing I have, okay? So let's see. Gerard, help me please. Hello. Hello, okay. So I present a sentence. Okay, a salad. Okay. 
Okay. A salad is healthier than a pizza. Yes? Okay, so in that, okay. In that case, we compare, yes? Okay, Mario, help me please. Help me. Okay. The Nile is the is the longest river in the world. Okay, excellent. In the world, exactly. The Nile is the longest river in the world. Yes. Okay. Good job, Carlos Arias. Jimmy. Okay. Give me the order of this sentence. The chimpanzee. E more is more. Uh -huh. Continue. More. Okay. Than than the dolphin. Excellent. Okay. The chimpanzee is more intelligent than the dolphin. Okay. Good job. So in that case, exactly. Okay. Ah, okay, Diego. Okay. It doesn't matter. Yes. So then you participate maybe in the chat, yes? Okay, so let's see. In that game, we put the order, okay, of the correct sent words. So we practice the comparative and also the superlatives, yes? Okay, excellent. Now we continue with our review because we have different topics. Okay, so we play, we continue with this one. Have two. Remember, this one is an expression, okay, or it's a verb, it's a model that you use, okay, when you give another person, okay, an obligation. For example, another person thinks it is necessary. For example, your parents consider that it is necessary that you develop different activities. Okay, this one is an external obligation. This one is a fact, or maybe in that case, it's not an opinion, okay? So you have to do something, okay? It's kind of obligation. For example, okay, we have the verb to have, and this one is the conjugation of this one. We have the pronoun, we have the affirmative part and the negative part, okay? I have, okay, I have to do the shorts. Okay, I have to do the homework. She has, okay, to mop the floor in that case. Or maybe we don't have, okay, to study for the test, okay? So this one is not an obligation. So for that reason, Okay, so you use this verb, I have, and it's the pen of the pronoun, yes? If it is affirmative, I have, I don't have. You have, you don't have. He has, okay, check this one. He, she, and it. You use the verb has, okay? This one is the correct form, has, because you talk about third person, okay? He doesn't have, she doesn't have, he doesn't have. We have, we don't have. They have they don't have, you have, you don't have, okay? So this one is part of the topic. Now we try to check this one, okay? And you use have to or has to. It's the pen of the person, okay? Remember this part. When you talk about third person, that in this case is he, she, and it, you use the conjugation has, yes? With the other pronouns, you use the verb have. Okay, only where he, she, and it, you use has, okay? So let's continue. Now you help me solving this exercise. For example, number one, they, what do you think? Okay, Christian, they have to write a test or they has to write a test? Okay, Christian, can you give me the answer? Okay. Let's see, let me check here in the chat if it is possible. Okay. Okay, Daniela Marin says have two. Okay, Christian, you say, let's see, has. Okay, let's check in that part, yes? Okay, so for example, they have two. Exactly, they have to write a test because we talk about a plural form, okay? A plural person, people, in that case is they. Next one, she cleaned her desk. What do you think is the answer? She have to clean her desk or she has to clean her desk in that case. Okay. 
Okay, Daniela Borja says has. Yes, okay, let's see this part. Let me check. Okay, so she has to, exactly. She has to clean her desk. Okay, this one is the correct form. Next, number three, Kim and Liz. Okay, so let's check. Ivania Mejia, tell me, what is the answer? Kim and Liz has to learn English words or have to learn English words? And have to. Okay, have to, let's see. Yes, have to, okay, because we talk about, in that case, plural. Okay, number four, Andy has to help his brother or have to, is there? What do you think, Esther? Is the correct form? He has to. Okay, has to, exactly. Andy has to help his brother. Number five, we have to or has to in that case. Okay, Ari. Okay, wait, here. Okay. Have to. Okay, excellent, have to, yes. Okay, because it's gonna be a plural pronoun, yeah? We have to do our homework. Excellent, number six. Okay, we, I'm sorry, he has to write with a pencil or have to write with a pencil? Okay, Mia Rivera. Has to. Okay, has to, exactly, okay? He has to write with a pencil, good job. Let's see, next one. Okay, Anderson Lopez, number seven. I has to feed the hamster or I have to? I have feed the, the hamster. Okay, I have to feed the hamster, excellent. Number eight, okay, in that case, you. You have to or you has to in that case? Okay, let's see. What is that answer? Santiago Siguenza. Okay. You has to or you have to? You have to. Okay. Take photos, exactly. Okay. You have to take photos. Excellent. Let's see. Next. Okay. In that case, help me. Uh, let's see. Okay, Josue Villorio, number nine. Victoria has to read the newspaper or have to read the newspaper? Okay, Josue, try to activate your sound and you give me the answer, please. Excellent. Okay, Victoria has to or have to? Have to. Okay, have let's to. see. Okay, has to two in that case because you talk about a girl and it's singular yes okay victoria has to read the newspaper excellent fabiola enriquez the last one the teacher has to send a text message or have to what do you think has to okay has to yes Okay, the teacher has to send a text message. Yes, okay, excellent job. So if you see, this one is the use of have to, okay, or has to, similar to a responsibility that you need to do. Okay, have to write, has to clean, have to learn, okay, has to help, have to do your homework, has to write, okay, that's mean kind of obligation, yes? Okay, excellent job in that part. Now let's continue, okay? Thank you very much for participating in the chat. Okay, Harrison, Daniela Borja, Mia. Okay, Esther, Daniela Marin, Diego Lopez. Thank you very much. So let's see, let's continue. So in that part, we practice the second topic that in this case is Morocco, yes? Remember, this one is a country and this country is located in Africa, yeah, in Northwest Africa. So this one is the third topic that we make a review because this one is including your evaluation of EFL. So Morocco is a country in the Northwest of Africa. Okay, this one is not a very country, a big country. This one is small. It's about the size of the states of California. That's mean this one is very, very small, but the land varies a lot. Okay, there's a very fertile area 
near the coast where people grow barley, wheat, and vegetable. That's mean the majority of the people in that country, okay, try to cultivate or try to plant different fruit, different vegetables. There are some snowy mountains in the center, okay? So that's mean have a biary of land, yes? Okay, they're called the Atlas Mountains. The Sahara Desert covers the southern part of the country. So that's mean include one portion of the Sahara Desert. Let's see. Then most people in Morocco live in the big cities. Okay, so we have different cities here in this country. What are these cities? Okay, let me see. Fernando, help me please. Okay, what are the cities that we can include uh, or maybe that is included in this part of the reading? Okay. Let's check, Fernando, where are you? Let me see. Okay. I didn't find you. Okay, no encuentro, Fernando. Let me see. Okay, give me some seconds, yes. Okay. No, maybe Fernando is not here, yes. Okay, Maria Navas, help me please. Okay, what are the cities that we can find in Morocco? According to the reader, we have big cities, yes? Okay, what are they? Okay, let me see here. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for telling me. Okay, so let's see. In that case, we have different cities. Okay, I underline the cities that are, okay, Casablanca. Yeah, this is one. Marrakech, this is other. We have Rabat or Rabat. Okay, the capital of Morocco in Fes. Okay, so we have four cities that are considered big cities. Okay, similar to our country. Yes, for example, Santa Tecla. O Nueva San Salvador, in San Salvador, San Miguel, and Santa Ana are considered big cities. Yes, okay, similar to our country. And the official language is Arabic. Okay, but people speak French a lot and also speak Spanish. Yes, and English. So that's mean the people in this country speak four languages. That's mean Arabic, French, Spanish, and in some cases, English. Yeah, these one are common languages in that country. The dominant religion in Morocco is Islam, yes, okay, Ramadan and Mulud are two important holidays. For example, okay, in America, we celebrate different holidays, Thanksgiving Day, uh, Valentine's Day, Mother's, Father's Day, okay, all of these one are holidays, okay? So this country, okay, has different holidays too. They celebrate the life of a Muslim prophet, okay? In the case, the name of the prophet is Muhammad. For Ramadan, people have different work, Okay, hours, celebrate in their homes and eat a special food. For Molo, there are songs and dances. During these holidays, many people wear traditional clothes. What is the name of this cloth? This one is Jeleva. Okay, this one is a robe, okay, similar to a dress. Yes, so this one is the traditional cloth in that country. So the most important thing in that reading is, okay, where is located Morocco? Morocco is located in the northwest of Africa, yes, okay, what are the languages that, uh, let me see, the people practice in Morocco? Arabic, French, Spanish, and also English, yes. What are the big cities that we can find in Morocco? Casablanca, Marrakech, Rabat, and Fez. What is the name of the traditional clove? Okay, is Jeleva. So this one are the most important things in that part. Let's see. Next topic. In that case, we study the vocabulary, okay, in these Roman buildings. The, for example, okay, so this one is your Pictionary. So we try to make a review of this word. Remember, we have Roman buildings and Roman society, okay, are two parts of the unit two. So one are the two parts of the vocabulary, Roman buildings and Roman society, yes? Okay, let's take this one. Uh, let me see. What is that person? This one is a male ruler of an empire. Okay, this one is the person that dictates the rules in the city. What do you think is that person? Okay, you can write the answer in the chat. Okay, this one is the leader of the city. What do you think? 
is that. Okay, let me check in the chat. Okay, yes, this one is the emperor, exactly. This one is the emperor, good job. Let's see, next one. Um, this one is a place where the characters place performance, okay, or place movies. What is that place? Okay, it's a place where the different characters place Okay, or perform a novel. Okay, what is that? Okay, so but this one is a place, it's not a people, it's a place. Okay, okay, this one is theater exactly. Okay, next one. Thank you, Diego. Let's see, this one is a structure. Okay, that forces water up. Okay, and this one put in between or maybe in the middle of a park. And it's like a decoration. Okay, we use like a decoration. Okay, thank you, Daniela Marie. This one is a fountain, exactly. Okay, this one is a circular, and in some cases, or oval, okay, place. And uh, let me see, you can see place, sports, okay, different match. What is that? This one is circular, okay, it's similar to stadium, but we call it in a different way. What is this one? Okay, you can see it and see, let me see a match, a soccer match. You can see a baseball match. Okay, exactly, Diego Lopez. This one is an amphitheater, yes. Okay, is that. Then we have, this one is a structure for carrying water across the land. What do you think is that word? This one is a structure, okay, for carrying water across the land. Okay, this one is the second word. In that case is, okay, yeah, this one is an aqueduct. Yes, okay, in that case, in that part, you carry in water, okay, in an aqueduct. Okay, then we have a fountain. Okay, then we have, what is this one? Okay, a public bath. Okay, this one is a place that is used for different people. Okay, then we have, this one is a lawn. Okay, and this one is hard surface, bill for cars, etc. Okay, then we have the building where people in some religions, okay, go to pray. In this case, it's a temple, yes. And then we have the theater. Okay, then we have this person, someone who lives in a particular town or city. For example, all of us are this kind of people. Yes, because we live in a particular place or in a particular town and in a particular city. So we are citizens, yes? Okay. The person that give the rules, the emperor, yes. Okay, this one is a person that fought with older men. This one is a gladiator. Okay, someone who studies or writes a lot of things. This one is a philosopher. Okay, then we have this person that scribe or make copies of different documents. This one is a scribe. And the senator, this one is a person, okay, who has elected to the Senate, a senator. Then we have a person that, uh, let me see, is owned by someone else, okay, and a slave. And then we have the soldier that is a person in an army, yes? Okay, so this one is the vocabulary words that you study from unit number two, amphitheater, aqueduct, fountain, public bath, Okay, we have road, temple, theater, citizen, emperor, gladiator, philosopher, scribe, senator, slave, and soldier. Yes? Okay. I don't know if you have some question about these topics. Okay. Remember, we study superlatives and comparatives. Have two. Yes. Okay. Also, we study the unit number two, vocabulary of unit two number two and light up the world that in this case is Morocco country, okay, from unit number one, okay? So let's see, your test is available right now, so you can develop during all the day, okay? So you have your EFL test. Okay, I don't know if you have a question, no? No, okay, Ari, do you have a question? Okay, so let's see. 
Okay, excellent. So I, let me see, you don't have the next class, you develop the test, yes? Okay, if you have a doubt, you can write or send me a text message through WhatsApp, yes? Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Good luck in your test and God bless you a lot. See you the next week, yes? Okay.